My name is Umer from Islamabad, Pakistan, and I am a student. My question is, why Masjid Al-Aqsa is so important for the Muslims? Why do Muslims love Bayt Al-Maqdis and Al-Aqsa Mosque? Is praying in Al-Aqsa Mosque more rewarding? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1. Subhana alladhi asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al harami ila al masjid al aqsa alladhi barakna hawla linuriyahu min ayatina. Exalted is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who took his servant from masjid al haram to al masjid al aqsa to show him our signs. This was a blessed, this was a holy journey of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, known as Al-Isra wal-Mi'raj. Al-Isra means the night journey. That is from Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca to Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. Al-Mi'raj, it means ascension from Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem to the heavens. So this was a holy journey. This was a blessed journey that our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him undertook. And it is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume number 5, hadith number 3886, that the Quraysh did not believe our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him when he narrated to them regarding this blessed journey of Al-Isra wal miraj and this journey, it was done in one night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He displayed Jerusalem in front of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, He described it to the Quraysh as it is. In another hadith, it is mentioned that the Quraysh, they asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, regarding specific things about Jerusalem. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was unsure. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he displayed, he raised Jerusalem in front of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And whatever the Quraysh asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, regarding Jerusalem, our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he described it to the Quraysh as it is. Now there are several ahadith which talk about the virtues of Masjid al-Aqsa, which talk about the virtues of Bayt al-Maqdis, of Jerusalem. The first among the virtues of Masjid al-Aqsa is the reward for offering Salah in Masjid al-Aqsa. I would like to mention two ahadith, Abdullah Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, and this hadith, it is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Salatun fi masjidi hadha khayrun min alfi salatin fi ma siwah illa al-masjid al-haram. That prayer in my mosque, that is in Masjid al-Nabawi, is better than 1000 salah in any other mosque except for Masjid al-Haram. In another hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, that prayer in my mosque is equal to four prayers in Masjid al-Aqsa. So if we try to understand both these hadith, we realize that one salah in al-Masjid al-Aqsa, it is better than 250 salah in any other mosque, except for Masjid al-Haram in Mecca and Masjid al-Nabawi in Medina. This is the virtue of offering Salah in Masjid al-Aqsa. One Salah we offer, it is equal to 250 Salah. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He gives us the opportunity to pray Salah in Masjid al-Aqsa, to pray Salah in this blessed mosque, to pray Salah in this blessed masjid. The second virtue of Masjid al-Aqsa is, as our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, it is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume number two, hadith number one one eight nine. لا الرحال إلا إلى ثلاثة مساجد. 
المسجد الحرام ومسجد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ومسجد الأقصى that do not set out on a journey except to visit three masajid Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca Masjid Al-Nabawi in Medina and Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem so if we want to set out on a journey if we want to travel to visit any masjid to do ibadah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to offer salah we are permitted to make this journey only to visit three masajid Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca, Masjid Al-Nabawi in Medina, and Masjid Al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. The third among the virtues of Masjid Al-Aqsa is Abdul Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he mentioned in a hadith in Sahih Al-Bukhari, volume number 4, hadith number 3425, that Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him. He asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Ayyul Masjid وضع أول قال المسجد الحرام قلت ثم أي قال ثم مسجد الأقصى أبو ذر may Allah be pleased with him he asked our beloved prophet Muhammad peace be upon him which was the first masjid that was built so our beloved prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he said المسجد الحرام أبو ذر may Allah be pleased with him he asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which was the next? So our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Abu Dhar later on he asked, Kam kana baynahuma? How much was the distance between them in their construction? Qala Arba'een. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said 40 years. The fourth among the virtues of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is as it is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad volume number 3 hadith number 2991 Kana Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yusalli wa huwa bi Makkah nahwa bayt al-Maqdis wal Ka'ba bayna yadayh wa ba'da ma hajara ila al-Madina sitta ashara shahra that our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he used to pray facing Bayt al-Maqdis, that is Masjid al-Aqsa, while he was in Makkah and the Kaaba was in front of him. And even after he migrated to Medina for 16 months, then later on the Qibla, it was changed to Masjid al-Haram in Makkah. So the fourth virtue is regarding Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa that it is the first Qibla of the Muslims. Time does not permit me to discuss all the virtues but I will just discuss two more virtues of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. The fifth virtue of Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is that the one-eyed Dajjal he cannot enter Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. There are a hadith of Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that the Jal he cannot enter Masjid al Haram in Mecca, Masjid al Nabawi in Medina, and Masjid al Aqsa in Jerusalem. So he cannot enter the holy city of Al Quds. And in another hadith, it is mentioned that Isa alayhi salam he will kill the Jal outside Al Quds. The sixth among the virtues of Masjid al-Aqsa is Abu Lord Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said in Musnad Ahmad hadith number 22,320 a group of people from among my nation from my ummah they will manifestly remain on the truth and they will vanquish the enemy so the Sahaba they asked who are they O Prophet of Allah so our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said at Bayt al-Maqdis and the site surrounding it. This is the importance of Masjid al-Aqsa. This is the importance of Bayt al-Maqdis. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 21. Ya qawmi dhulul ardal muqaddasat allati katab Allahu lakum. 
Musa alayhi salam, he tells his people, Oh my people, enter the blessed land that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assigned for you. So these were a few virtues regarding Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, Bayt Al-Maqdis, it is very important for us Muslims. There are several virtues that are mentioned in the ahadith regarding Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, لَزَوَالُ الدُّنْيَا أَهْوَنُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ قَتْلِ رَجُلٍ مُسْلِمٍ the extinction of the entire world, the destruction of the entire world is less significant in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the killing of a Muslim man. In another hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the life of a believer is more sacred to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the cloth of the Kaaba. This is the importance of the life of a believer in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our brothers and sisters in Palestine, they are defending Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. The last few nights of Ramadan and approximately since a month, the Zionists and the occupiers, they are troubling and oppressing the Muslims, our brothers and sisters in Masjid Al-Aqsa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Keep our brothers and sisters who are defending and protecting Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Keep them firm on the deen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them with the best of rewards. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also grant Jannatul Firdaus to all those people who have sacrificed their lives for defending Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of them. Now, what should we Muslims do as far as defending Masjid al-Aqsa is concerned? The first and the most important thing is that we should do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pray sincerely for the brothers and sisters who are defending Masjid al-Aqsa. And the best time to do dua, it is in the last third of the night during our tahajjud prayer. We should pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he protect al-Masjid al-Aqsa and may he reward our brothers and sisters who are defending al-Masjid al-Aqsa immensely. The second is, besides doing dua, we should also raise awareness regarding the oppression that is being done on our Muslim brothers and sisters in Masjid al-Aqsa. This land belongs to the Muslims. It is later on in 1948 wherein the state of Israel was formed. The Muslims welcomed the Jews. So the second is that we should raise awareness on the social media, on other platforms, etc. to the best of our capability. The third is we should have peaceful protest. The fourth is that we should boycott all Israeli products. So, inshallah, if we follow these few steps, it will help our brothers and sisters who are defending Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he protect Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and may he reward our brothers and sisters for all the efforts, for all the hard work they are doing, for the striving and struggling they are doing to defend the holy lands.